Hello everybody! This tutorial will give you a brief overview of how to use the Maker Lab. Uh, the Maker Lab is kind of our sandbox area that lets you build anything you want. Uh, you get there by clicking the big Make button on the main menu, and this will bring you into the Maker Lab. So you've got a few different windows here. This big blue one is your contraption window. This is where you actually build stuff. Um, over here you have your parts window. This gives you all the parts in the game to play around with. Uh, if you can't quite find what you're looking for, you can check out these tabs up here which will show you smaller categories instead of looking at everything at once. The layers window. Uh, these are explained more in depth in a different tutorial. So now that you know what all the different windows are, uh, let's go over what all these different buttons are. In the upper left here you've got this orange house which will send you back to the main menu. Uh, this green folder will bring up the load dialog. This will let you load contraptions that you've saved. Uh, this blue button here will open a new contraption if you want to start building something new. And the red X here will quit the game immediately. Moving down to the contraption window, you've got all these different buttons here. Um, this disc right here will bring up the save dialog which will let you save your contraptions. Uh, these rotating arrows right here are your undo and redo buttons. So if you add a few parts, make some moves, and decide that you messed up, you can hit the undo button to go backwards, or you can hit the redo button to go back forward. Uh, these magnifying glasses right here will zoom in and out of your contraption. You can also use the scroll wheel on the mouse if you don't want to click the buttons. This yellow button here will minimize your contraption, get it out of your way for a little while. And the red button, the red X right here will close your contraption. Um, there's some other buttons here. You've got a, re a movie recording tool, a share button, and contraption options. These are explained more in depth in a different tutorial. Moving to the upper right here, you can see some more buttons. you got this hand right here, and this will let you switch between your pan tool and your select tool. So when you have the hand selected, you can move your camera around, and when you have the select tool selected, you can actually click on parts. Uh, if you just hold the space bar down, that will temporarily switch between these two, so you don't have to go up to click the button every single time. And then you have these three buttons here. This is your part bin, your scenery window, and your layer window. Clicking these will bring them forward so that you can easily see them. And this is important because all of the windows are actually movable and sizable. So say you are... You have your part window over here and your contraption window ends up on top of it because you click it. You can just click your part button, part bin button again, bring it back forward so that you don't lose it. So you want to set up your maker lab the way you want it. You know, say you want your part bin over here, you want your contraption window in the middle, and you want your play controls over here. You get everything set up the way you want it and then you can start building.